Hello and welcome to PA Academy. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to construct a tangent to a circle from a given point on a circumference. So what this means is that if you are given a circle and you're asked to construct a tangent from a particular point on this on, um, on the circumference of the circle, so how do you go about it? So if it's at this point, then you'll be having your tangent to look like this. And so maybe if it's on this point, you're asked to draw a tangent, uh, this point of the circumference. How do you go ahead to draw a tangent on a particular part of the circumference of a circle? And don't forget, and when we talk about a tangent, a tangent is a line that touches what a point on the circle on the circumference of the circle. So that's what we mean by a tangent, and without it entering into the circle. So let me just explain this again. So if you have a circle, so if you have a line, if it, for example, this particular one, it is not a tangent because it's already entering into the interior. Of the circle but once it is just touching a point on the circumference that's what we mean by tangent and this particular video is just going to be showing you how to construct a circle at a given point on the on the circumference so to start with let me draw a circle so just to explain this video I'm going to be using a circle with a radius of 5 centimeter so which is equivalent of 50 mm, uh, mm. 50 millimeter so yeah I already have I already have my circle so now let me just pick a particular point on the on the circumference and take it as a point that I want to take so let's say uh, I want to the, ta uh, the tangents to touch So I want the tangent to be on this part of the circle. So what I'll just do, I've already noticed the points. So the next thing to do is to draw a straight line from the center of that circle so that I and it should also pass through that particular point. I want to draw my tangent. So this is this right here is the center, and this is the point where I want uh, to have my tangent. So I'll draw a straight line. So assuming I want my tangent to be on this part also, or if assuming it's this part I want my tangent, so it will be like this. From the center, I'll draw a straight line towards this direction. I hope that is clear. So the next thing is for me to now mark off, let me call this point O. Let me call this point A. So this is the point A is where I want my tangent to be. So the next thing is, remember so from point O to A is... Um, Five centimeter. That is our radius. So what I'm going to do is to measure ten centimeter. So if I should measure ten centimeter, so that is twice of the length of uh, OA, the distance from O to A. So from point O, I'll mark it on this straight line. So let me call this points B. Points B. So the next thing I'm to do now is to bisect this line OB. Line OB. And to bisect, so from points B. So I'll draw an arc upward and do the same thing downward. So with the same length from points O draw an arc upward and draw an arc downward so so where the both intercept I'm going to join it straight down so so if you so that is it on, on how to draw it. So if you look at it, this straight line I've just drawn now is the tangent. You can see it is touching the circle at that this particular point where we want our tangent to, to touch, you know, from that this given point. So, so that is how you go ahead to construct a tangent to a circle at a given point on the circumference, like what we are having here. So here is, here is our circle. This is the given point, and here is the tangent. So just to run through it. So once you draw your circle, 
the first thing is to add a, pick the point where you want to draw your tangent. So once you pick a point, you draw um, a straight line from the center to pass through that point. From the center, yeah, the center to pass through that point. So this is the point I chose from this tutorial. You draw it out, and then the distance from this point O to point A, you double it, and then you mark it off. That's how I got this point B. So when you bisect this point OB, this line represents the tangent. So that is it for this video. I, I hope you find this video helpful. So if, if you do so, kindly click on the subscribe button and the little bell icon beside the subscribe button. And I'll see you all in another video.